Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel. Nowadays, in every schools, colleges and corporate companies are equipped with large number of computers in their workplace. They need large number of DVD drives, installer DVDs or USBs to run the press installation and also to repair the existing operating system. So, they are tied with a great financial burden on them. Can we overcome this problem? And is it possible to install operating system without CD drives and installer DVDs and USBs? Yes, it is possible by networking. Network booting. It is the process of booting a computer from a network rather than a local drive. For network setup, we need a special application known as server. Server is an automated PXC server based on all-in-one portable multi-server engine. You can download this from the link showing in my description and from the page showing on my Firefox browser. Just scroll it down. Here you will find server non-supporter. Just download this and copy onto your desktop. I have already downloaded my server non-supporter. After downloading this, please extract it to the desktop. Before starting the process, please turn off your Windows Firewall and your antivirus. Okay, now we will start the process. First, please come to the computer and select one of its drive and there you create a folder and name it name it as server underscore root okay after this just close it and come to the server folder start the server 32 Uh, before this, mm, uh, please change your IP address. Okay. Now start the server there you will get you will find one window here just click on settings go to tftp and select tftp server and just tick on bind tft to this address just it gave you a system ip after that click on browse and select the folder that is created on your drive okay now go to DHCP here you select DHCP server and bind DH DHCP to this address here please give same IP address after that please come to the IP pool here just give okay and pool size that is number of systems in your company uh, just i'm selecting 10 and after that come to the subdate marks and give you a router ip okay after that just click on 
sorry here you select BINL yes after that click on OK now close this now open your folder that is created in your drive okay okay next now you open server one fit again okay now come to the server root folder there you will find four folders and six files after this close your server and just select your windows files and copy into this folder and in wf open this create one new folder and name it as windows 7 please don't uh, leave any space between this and after that just paste windows file into that folder Okay. after copying all the files just close this now come to the server just open it okay just close this again come to the server root folder and open WIA WDS open Windows 7 open OEMS here go to dollar one go to the drivers go to the NIC drivers just look any land drivers are, are they are there or not if it is not there we have to copy land drivers into this folder okay now I will browse for my land drivers I have stored in local disk F okay here come to Windows 7 32 just copy all these drivers and come to the link and just paste it and close it now again open server now we can see all the drivers okay just close close this and come to the server root 
open this and just select this right click go to the properties here you select sharing after that come to the advanced sharing and share this folder just change its name to wia underscore wds underscore share after that come to the permissions here just remove everyone after that please click on add and go to advanced here just click on find now here we will select our system okay just click on ok after that click on ok uh, here you select full control after that apply okay and uh, here also apply okay after this just close it okay with this network installation setup in our server is over now we will go to the client system but before going to the client system we have to start our server then only our client system will connect to this network system okay Okay, just now I started my client system. Uh, that's why it is connected to our client system now. We got so many notifications because of it is connected to our client system. 